Hi there, my name is Jennifer Shaw. I'm part of the volunteering team for Diabetes UK in the north of England. Today I'm going to do a really quick run through of our online Know Your Risk tool. And this is um, a tool to find out your risk of type 2 diabetes. So I'm just going to start sharing my screen. Okay. So um, this is our online Know Your Risk tool. You can find it through our website or you can enter Know Your Risk into the search engine and it should be the first result that comes up. Um, so this is a really quick um, seven step, as you can see, uh, process to find out your risk of type two diabetes. Um, it will go through the risk factors for type two diabetes. So before you start, you will need a tape measure and some scales um, as you'll need your height, weight and waist measurement. Um, if you are in England um, and you come out at risk of type 2 diabetes, at the end of, of the process, there'll be a link to self-refer into the NHS Diabetes Prevention Programme as well, um, which I'll show you when we get to the end. OK, so to start finding out your risk, you simply click here. So as you can see, the seven questions um, related to your risk of type 2 diabetes um, underneath each question, there's a little information um, bracket here on why we're asking. So the first question is around gender. Um, here we're looking at gender at birth, um, as we know that men are slightly at higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So for today's, I'm going to click female. OK, question two is around age. We ask this because we know the older you are, the higher your risk for type 2 diabetes. So today I'm going to put in 66. OK, the third question is around ethnicity. And um, we have blocked it out um, to make it as simple as possible um, into you know, wider ethnic groups. Um, and we're asking this because we know that some ethnic groups are more likely to develop type 2 diabetes than others. So for today, I'm going to select white. OK, question four is around that close relation with diabetes. So do you have a parent, a sibling or a child who has diabetes? Um, we ask this because we know that that close relative um, with diabetes does increase your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So for today, I'm going to select yes. Okay. Question five is around your waist measurement. We ask this because we know that um, a larger waist measurement increases your risk for type 2 diabetes. There's a little diagram here as to where you can find your waist. And um, so it's just below where you feel your bottom rib and the top of your hip bone. Um, you can enter it in inches or in centimetres. Today, I'm going to put in 110 centimetres. Okay. Question six is around your body mass index, your BMI. You don't have to calculate this yourself. And um, we just need your height and your weight. And um, the, the calculator will do it for you. We ask this because we know those who are overweight or obese, um, they do have a greater risk of type 2 diabetes. So for today, I'm going to put in five four, uh, seven inches. And we'll go with um, 13 stone, eight pounds. OK, see, so there um, is your BMI just calculated below. OK, and we'll click next. OK, and the last question is around blood pressure. Um, have you been told that you have high blood pressure or ever given medication for it? Again, we ask this because we know that those who are, have been treated for high blood pressure, it will contribute to their overall risk of type 2 diabetes. Um, so today I'm going to select yes. OK, just before you get your results, um, there's a, a page here where you'd be prompted to put in um, a contact email address. Now, this is optional. so. Um, this is for those who want the information sent directly to them. Um, but if they don't want to, to put their information in at this stage, um, there's a skip link here. Um, and you, can, you will be prompted again on the next screen um, in case you change your mind. But again, it's entirely optional. OK, and this is the last um, final page where you get your results. Um, so here you can see at the top, um, it's quite nice and clear. Um, so here it says your risk is high. Um, and underneath there's this color coded system. So low would come out green, increased would come out yellow, moderate would come out red, and high comes out 
oh sorry moderate would come out orange and high would come out red um, so trying to keep it as, as clear as possible for our online users. So here it talks about my risk score. So this is broken uh, down further down the page. My risk score is 31. Um, as you can see, it falls within this high bracket. And what does that mean for me? So that means that one in four people with this risk score will get type 2 diabetes in the next 10 years. So that puts it into context um, and, and the importance of, of what that means for me. OK, as I mentioned at the start, if people are in England, they can self-refer to the NHS Diabetes Prevention Programme and here's the link for it. But for everyone um, who, who takes part, um, we do advise that they, they contact their GP practice as soon as possible, be tested for type 2 diabetes and to have that chat as well around um, what is type 2 diabetes and, and their risk for it. This is um, the risk score explained. So that number of 31, how did we get there? So on the left, you can see the things that you can't change. So the age, gender, ethnicity, and, and those close relations with diabetes. And um, this breaks down where that risk score has come from. Um, as you can see, we did mention as you get older, <clears throat> excuse me, as you get older, your, your risk for type 2 diabetes increases. Um, men are slightly more at risk. And those uh, certain ethnic groups um, are more at risk of type 2 diabetes. And if you've got a close relation with diabetes, whether it's type 1, type 2 or, or another type, that does increase your risk as well. And those things on the right here are things that we can influence, we can change. And they're really important to have a look at when you get your risk score. So you can see um, waist measurement here. I entered 110 uh, centimetres. You can see that's the highest bracket. So actually, if I want to reduce my risk of type 2 diabetes, then losing some, uh, a few centimetres to my waist would actually make a big difference um, to my risk score, so to my overall risk of type 2 diabetes. The same goes with my BMI. So you can see here, actually, I'm, I'm about to move into the next bracket. Um, so it's looking at those numbers and, and where those um, key changes could be made to reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes. And everyone will get a personalised uh, risk score like that. OK, this is where you get prompted again to, to put your email address in. Um, so those who have come out moderate and high risk for type 2 diabetes, um, they will um, get a letter that they can direct straight to their GP, um, you know, print and, and post or uh, send over email. Um, and this will let your GP know that you've taken part in the Diabetes UK Know Your Risk tool, that you've come out moderate or high risk for type 2 diabetes, and to book you in for a diabetes test and a consultation around your risk for the condition. Um, so that's why we prompt again in case anyone changes their mind. It will also send some useful links and um, kind of where you can get support as well. But again, it is optional. It's, it's entirely up to the user. There's a Keeping in Touch with Diabetes UK section in case you wanted to hear more from us. And there's a spread the word right at the bottom as well. So if you think, you know, close relations or anyone you know might want to take part and, and, and use the tool, that's how you can easily share it there. OK, well, I hope that's been helpful. Um, as I said, it should be nice and easy um, to follow through and to use. Um, but if you do have any questions, then you can get in touch with our North of England team um, by email on n.west at diabetes.org.uk um, or you can get through to our uh, national helpline on 0345 123 2399 um, and thanks again for, for listening today. Thanks.